What's up? Good morning, and thank you for your attention. I'm Christian Kelly from Ms. Fazekas class. And I'm Sammy from Mr. Roach's class. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. Yesterday was dress alike day. Message your friend to see if you both can dress alike today and post your pictures to Cluster, like us. There are no birthdays today. Jackson and Genevieve Parmentier have a really fun game you can try at home. My name is Genevieve. My name is Jackson, and I like to run. Today we're going to be doing the bottle flip challenge. What you need for the bottle flip challenge is a water bottle, a little bit full of water, quarter full, and and a partner, and your human self. How you play? The first person who's up t- takes the water bottle and has two turns to f- try to flip it, flip it, land it. <coughs> this is going to be great. And. Well, well, the other person's waiting for for his or her turn. Push ups. Yes, <laughs> or jumping jacks, or sit ups, or run in place, whatever you want. Any kind of workout. If if the person flips the bottle, they win the game. When it's um, but if but if they don't and they run out of their two tries. It, it, you have to switch, and then the person who who is flipping first has to do the push ups. Do their exercise, and then the other person gets to flip. Three, two, one, go! Oh no! Don't go! Come here! And I fail. <laughs> All you need is your humanly brain. Three, two, one. Nope. Nope. Three, two, one. Yes. Almost captain. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Nice flipping. I know you guys are good at bottle flipping, so send us some pictures or videos. Don't forget that you can pick up a free breakfast and lunch each day from Acres Green. Here's Miss Gina with today's menu. Remember. Remember. Anyone 18 or under can get a free meal at Acres Green between 12, 11.30 and 12.30 each day. Miss Owens has a little reminder for you about choosing your own weather. Good morning, Panthers. This week we are focusing on habit one, which is be proactive. And one of the elements of be proactive is about choosing your own weather. Now that does not mean that you have to be happy all the time. Some people get confused by that. So what I want you to focus on right now is whatever you're feeling, any time of the day, any day of the week, is how do you react to those feelings? And so I wanna read you a little poem or statement that I found on Facebook the other day that fits this perfectly. It says, Yes, and. Yes, we can feel grateful and disappointed about things that are canceled. Yes, we can enjoy extra time with our family and loved ones. And we can feel overwhelmed by being around them all the time. Yes, we can feel hopeful and we can feel like everything is falling apart. Yes, we can be a source of support for other people. And we need to prioritize and fill our own cup. So see, there's two sides to each piece of how we can feel. We can feel some sadness and some happiness. And sometimes we feel those things at the same time. And that can be really hard, but it's how do we react to that? So I wanna tell you a little story. Yesterday, I had to go to the grocery store and I don't know if any of of you have been to the grocery store recently, but you have to stand in line because they only let so many people into the grocery store at a time. And you have to stand six feet apart from the person in front of you and the person behind you. And so I was standing behind a mom and a daughter 
she was probably eight, nine, ten, somewhere in there. And we were standing in line for almost half an hour to get into the store. And that's a long time to stand in line. And that was really hard. And that mom and that daughter had a choice. They could have been complaining and the daughter could have been whining and grumpy and mom, why can't we just go into the store? Why did you bring me along with you? But do you know what they did instead? They started dancing. I'm not even joking. The mom taught the daughter how to dance. And it was so much fun to watch them have fun while doing something that wasn't so fun, standing in line. That is a great way to choose your own weather. And here is another thing I found on Facebook that I wanna share with you. Not everything is canceled. The sun is not canceled. Spring is not canceled. Love is not canceled. Reading is not canceled. Music is not canceled. Imagination is not canceled. Kindness is not canceled. Conversations are not canceled. And hope is not canceled. And I hope that as you all experience today and tomorrow and the rest of this week, that you choose your own weather and you decide how you want to react to each situation and you decide, I could be grumpy or angry or sad and it's okay to feel those things. Or do you want to think hope and kindness and thoughtfulness and love? Have a great day, Panthers. Thanks, Ms. Owens. With all this crazy weather we've been having lately, sometimes it's easy to forget we can choose our own personal weather. Please join us in saying the school mission statement. At Acres Green, we are creating leaders one child at a time. We will all conclude by saying the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and have a great day.